In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Kali Linux with GUI on Windows 11 using WSL2. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Well, first of all, we need to look for Windows features. So just press your Windows key and right here, Windows, give it a space, feature, and this will show you this particular option. Just click on it and it will open this particular window. Scroll down and from here, we need to include two of the features. First one is Virtual Machine Platform and the second one is Windows Subsystem for Linux. Well, these two are prerequisite or you can say these two are required in order to install any Linux distribution into your Windows 11. After that, press OK or click on OK. It will look for some files and then it will ask you to restart your system because these changes will not take place until and unless we restart our system. So I'll see you after the restart of my system. So we are back and now the next thing that we need to do is to open our PowerShell. So I'll just look for my PowerShell, here it is. I'll just open that one. And here I'll use a command in order to make WSL2 version as a default one. So I'll write here WSL space hyphen hyphen set hyphen default hyphen version, give it a space and two. And now hit enter. Here it says the operation completed successfully. We are done till now and we are ready to download and install the Kali Linux image. So I'll just close my PowerShell and I'll look for my Microsoft Store. So I'll just search for it. Here it is. I'll just open that. From here, I'll look for Kali Linux. Here it is. So in your case, you have to download it. I have already done that and it says open. So I'll just click on it and the installation process will begin. So I'll just click on that. Here it says installing. This may take a few minutes. Let me minimize this one and here it is asking us to enter our username. So before I move ahead, there is one thing that I want to discuss and that is in case if the WSL or the Linux kernel does not work in your case, we have to download the Linux kernel update package. So for that, I'll open my browser and from the official website of Microsoft, you can go for manual installation steps for older version of WSL. If you scroll down, you will get to step four and it will give you kernel update package. So just click on this link and it will start the download process. Well, the download has been completed and now I will just install it. So I'll just click on it. And here you can see it says a later version of the Windows subsystem for Linux is already installed. So in your case, if it doesn't work, just download this particular package and you are good to go. Now I'll just click on finish. I'll close my web browser. And here I'll enter my username. You can have any username as per your liking. After that, we have to give the password. So I'll just enter my password, hit enter. I'll retype my password and the password has been updated successfully. So now we just need to update this particular image of Linux distribution, which is Kali Linux. The command for that is sudo space apt space update and hit enter. Give it your password and enter once again. And let's wait for the process to get complete. After this one, we'll update our system and then I'll show you that how we can install the GUI for our Kali Linux. So let the update get complete. We are done here with the update and now it's time to install all the upgradations for our packages. So for that, I'll write here sudo space apt space upgrade and just hit enter. It will take this particular size into my Kali Linux. So just press Y and hit enter once again. We are done here with the upgrade of our system as well. Now, if I go back to my web browser here from the official website of Kali, if you just look for the solutions to install your Kali Linux on Windows 11, here we have the detailed documentation and here we have the package as WinCax. Here we have all the information about it. Well, this particular package or this particular feature allows your Kali Linux to have separate window or basically GUI. And this particular package or feature has three different modes. First one is Windows mode. Then we have enhanced session mode. And if you scroll down, last one is seamless mode. 
so you can go with any one of these and now in case if you want to install this one well obviously we want to install the gui for our kali linux the command is sudo apt install hyphen y kali hyphen win hyphen kex so i'll just right click here and now i'll just hit enter it will take a little bit of time so we have to be patient and wait for the process to get complete after this process get completed i'll show you the gui for my kali linux into my windows 11. now i'll show you that which version of WSL we are using at the moment in order to confirm if we are using version 2 or not. So for that again I'll open my PowerShell. Here it is I'll just open that one and in that I'll use a command as WSL space hyphen L space hyphen V and now hit enter. Here it says Kali Linux is running and the version is 2. So we are going in the right direction. We are done here with the installation as well. Let me clear my terminal or screen. Now we need to write here a command in order to start the kex. So I'll just write here kex hit enter and here we need to enter the password. After that hit enter and we need to verify that one as well. Okay, this is not the password that you had set earlier. This is the new password that you will set now for the kex. After that verify it and hit enter once again. And it says would you like to enter a view only password press n and hit enter now it will start the process and let's wait for the process to start and here you can see now we have a complete gui for our kali linux and if you see we have our menu and in that we have all those tools that we get with the iso file of kali linux when we install it and not only that we have our taskbar and here we have our notification center time and then we have our power menu. So this is how you can download and install Kali Linux into your Windows 11 with GUI with the help of WSL2. And now you might be wondering that how to get out of this or how we can go back to our Windows 11. Well do not worry just press F8 key and from here either click on minimize or otherwise you will see an option that will say exit. So if I just click on minimize and here you go, we are out of our Kali Linux and we are back into our Windows 11. So that was all about it and that brings me to the end of today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. I'll get back to you in the next video. Till then, take care.